Feed me. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, here you go, Mr. Prayer. Uh, Feed me. Yeah, yeah, here you go, please don't hurt me. Feed me. I'm just giving you a chance, please. Feed me. Oh, oh, your soul. Oh. I am now full. Oh, uh, okay. Neat. Hello, my fellow hunters, my fellow riders. Welcome to the prayer pot. And you. Now, I'm sure you've been feeding him some tasty, tasty charms and seen him level up, and that's all well and good. They're very, very useful bonuses, essentially for every aspect of the game that you could be focusing on. Coupled with the lucky prayer to uh, double up with a second bonus, and no, they don't stack, so choose two different ones, but still, very nice to have going. However, there may be three questions that you have yet to have answered. Number one. Is it worth power leveling your prayer pot? Number two, what is the maximum level of the prayer pot and what are the bonuses there like? Number three, is there any kind of reward for getting to maximum level prayer pot? Well, I'm here to answer all of them right now in this video. That's the whole point. Let's go! So, you will need a lot of charms to level up the prayer pot. The maximum level is 20, and to reach it, it will cost you a cool 170 charms. Now, you do get given a few free charms each time you do level up, which helps, but yeah, you're gonna need a lot of them. Now, there are a few really strong options for farming them. General chess in your expeditions, in a multiplayer. General side quests around the place, offer them in big bundles. And there is a very good chain from Old Didi, if you go visit him again in the springs, that will give you a whole bunch. But in essence, just keep pouring them in and eventually you will hit that sweet, sweet level 20 threshold and be rewarded for your efforts. <laughs> 30 heart churros, which actually, I mean, that's not bad. It's quite useful to fill up your hearts outside of combat without returning to a village. Helps you uh, keep going in a lot of different situations, and yeah, it's it's okay, right? It's not like it's mind-blowing, but it's certainly pretty decent, and honestly, I would have totally been not surprised if there just wasn't a reward for max level at all, so I will take 30 heart churros for sure. So now that you're at level 20, what actually is going on here? How potent do the prayers and the charms become? Well, the charms do increase in strength each time you level up, as you probably have noticed. At max level, well, something like the finding charm ends up at 20%. And that is really quite potent. A 20% chance to get better genes is very, very effective. And it similarly scales with every single other charm. So you'll find yourself in an incredibly strong position if you reach this kind of level of prayer pot. Even the actual free prayers that you can keep up all the time become very, very potent. You get 7% on some and 10% on the others. But imagine that, a permanent free. 10% chance to find better genes on your monster or to find 10% rarer items all the time if you're talisman farming and so on and so forth. Oh, I don't know. Let's just permanently do 10% more damage in all of my fights. That seems like a, a nice little deal if you've got something else on from the charm. Yeah, it's very, very potent. Prayer Pot is our overlord. Prayer Pot is life. Prayer Pot forever. <laughs> And that essentially answers the questions. Whether it's worth getting to level 20 ASAP, well, that's up to you to decide from this information that you're now aware of. However, I would say that probably, yeah. Especially if you have a lot of charms that you don't really care for, if you don't think you'll need or really use, you're fine to just throw them in and get to like level, what, 10 to 15? That's still a really potent increase and let the final levels just slowly come around as you generally use it. I think that's probably the sensible way to do. Just keep feeding it fodder while maintaining the more useful charms to actually, well, use. 
but it is nice that this does keep scaling and it gives a really strong boost once you've been farming for long enough to make that process even easier towards the end of endgame. So that's everything you need to know about the prayer pot and all it doth contain. So for now, I will leave you be. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Please consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.